Well, today you join me at a secret lake and I'm trying to catch a very cryptic and beautiful fish, the crucian. Now, I've not had a lot of luck so far. I did get a rather nice rud earlier on, beautiful golden scales, but not the golden fish that I'm after. So to tell you a little bit more about crucians, I'm joined by my partner in crime, Dr. Mark Everard, as he explains a little bit more about these amazing fish. A crucian is uh, a little native carp species known as Caressius, Caressius in, in Latin. Um, the crucian arguably is uh, an introduced species uh, or a native species. Now we're going back to the days of Doggerland, to the Ice Age here to, for the definition. An, an ultra purist view says that when there was a bridge between the UK and continental Europe, then um, those were the native species. Now the crucian might have been here, although recent DNA reported in about 2017 suggests that the dominant crucian here might have been introduced around the 15th century. But equally there are artifacts of crucian in um, Roman um, middens. So they might be native and they might not. And different organisations have different views on whether they're native and whether they are introduced. But they do serve important purposes. Now, crucians are a small pond specialist. They don't compete uh, in big waters. They don't compete where there are bigger and aggressive fish. Uh, they simply don't recruit in those situations. So small, neglected, weedy ponds are uh, native habitat. Uh, when I was a kid in the 60s, over in the home counties, there were lots of farm ponds, dew ponds and, and, and all sorts in the landscape, bomb craters, and then loads of them had little crucians in, and it was, you know, lovely, lovely, lovely. But of course, we've lost 90% of ponds pretty much since the Second World War, certainly over the last century. And uh, with them, we've lost the small pond specialists, which include crucians, as well as a range of invertebrates and uh, uh, newts and so forth. So. The presence of crucians, I think, is really good news because it almost tells you that those other small pond species are there as well. I think protecting the crucians is vitally important. Um, you know, let's, let's get past whether they're truly native or they've been here a seriously long number of centuries. Um, that's almost an artificial concern in, in, a, in a totally changed landscape that we live in today. The point is we are massively losing the small ponds. And if people value this little fish, this charismatic little fish, then that's an incentive to protect and restore the ponds. And if we do that, then all sorts of unnamed wildlife, which is equally important but lesser known, will also prosper. And of course in the UK, we've got crucians still in abundance. We've only just got the Geibel carp and we're trying what we can to stop it um, spreading. If you go to continental Europe, geibel carp are everywhere and they are thugs, they're just displacing these other small caraceous species. So we need to protect this valuable arc population in our little wet island. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. But you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media, as well as the podcast that I host, the Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.